And now we come to the closing session of the Global Diaspora Summit 2022 and to the formal adoption of our political outcome document, the Dublin Declaration. Minister Brophy will shortly propose that the lead countries with us here in Dublin will adopt the outcome document by a show of hands. As you heard, the participating countries that cannot be with us here this afternoon in St. Patrick's Hall will confirm their association with the Dublin Agenda for Action to the IOM in the period ahead as we look forward to the International Migration Review Forum to be held in New York next month. And so, Minister Brophy, I call on you to propose the adoption of the outcome document. And I would now like to take the opportunity to formally propose it. As any delegate, please, if you can just raise your hand to agree to its adoption. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. By a unanimous show of hands there, we have its adoption. So thank you very much. Now, I'm going to just, uh, I think at this point, just to to finish up by making some some final remarks, um, really just to to thank you all. thank you all as colleagues, to thank you all for your participation, for your presence over the last number of days. I think it's been a really terrific summit. Um, I, I think we've had some incredible contributions. We've had some great experiences. I think it's been mentioned already. I think the, the visit to EPIC earlier on today gave, and the chances we had to engage with diaspora groups at EPIC gave us a real chance to, to see firsthand and understand some of the things we have been talking about and hear it literally from people who make up those diasporas. Uh, to hear your perspectives has been really interesting um, and to, to have that opportunity to work together uh, at this summit. But I do look forward to future engagements. I think that's really important, in particular the forthcoming International Migration Review Forum in New York, where obviously we will present the Dublin Declaration to that wider UN family. And I think that's a very important part uh, of the process. I'm really proud um, that we'll do that, not just on our own behalf, but on behalf of all the diasporas, uh, all those diasporas we've talked about um, uh, who themselves are such a truly global family. Um, I want to just obviously conclude again by just thanking everybody that makes this happen. Um, Before I entered politics in another life, I actually worked uh, uh, at the organization and management of putting on conferences. So I know more than most people of the truly incredible hard work that takes place by so, so many people that are never seen or never heard that work behind the scenes, that do everything from make sure that the logistics of travel and getting people from A to B, providing all the facilities that are needed, all the telecommunications, our wonderful compares and hosts that have guided us through that, the wonderful technical team, the defence forces in Ireland who have helped with the transport, on guard the Shia Khan and the Irish Police Service who have helped in, in, in terms of moving people around. So, so many people in terms of the staff in Dublin Castle, the the people who look after catering and everything. Without all of their assistance, this conference would not have been possible. And obviously all your colleagues in your respective departments and governments and countries, and my colleagues in particular, I would like to thank in the Department of Foreign Affairs, uh, for which I'm a minister, and in the Irish government, who collectively have worked for so long to bring this together. It has been, I believe, a really good and a successful event. Uh, I'd like to thank you all again, as well as them, um, for your contribution, and particularly, though, to wish you a safe journey home. Uh, I know some of you have very long travels uh, to make and have come some really long distances, so I appreciate the effort to come here uh, and to wish you all a safe journey home. Thank you very much. Thank you, Minister Brophy. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dublin Declaration is now formally adopted here by delegates in St. Patrick's Hall. In addition to the countries present here in Dublin at the closing ceremony, additional countries have also confirmed their adoption of the outcome document. Now, as we know, the GCM firmly sets in place processes for the follow-up, the implementation, and the review, including an International Migration Review Forum to be organized every four years. And that cycle, ladies and gentlemen, begins this year. So let's hear once again from DDG Daniels on that inaugural review forum. 
Thank you, Nozi. I've, I've said a lot today, um, but this is a really historic moment. We've achieved a, a, a very significant milestone. And now as we go into the IMRF as IOM, in our capacity as the coordinator for the UN Network on Migration, we will be very pleased to present this outcome document at the IMRF and look forward, of course, in partnership with all of you, but most importantly, working closely with the diaspora. So once again, and before concluding, I must thank again the Government of Ireland for such amazing hospitality and, and hosting this event and their leading role in getting us to where we are right now, both in terms of the document and physically moving us <laughs> as well. And um, I join um, Honorable Minister in wishing you all very safe journeys home. Thank you.